Today is Mr. Banana's birthday, and Susie the Strawberry wants to do something really special for him. Why don't we make him a creme brulee? Said Peter Pineapple. Creme brulee is Mr. Banana's favourite, said Ollie the Orange. Good thinking, guys. We'll make Mr. Banana a creme brulee and throw him a huge surprise party. Yay! Said everyone. Right, everybody. We need to work really hard to make this a success. Andrew, I'll need you to get some double whipped cream and six free range eggs. Can you do that? Andrew, double whipped cream and six free range eggs. Can you get them for me? No? Susie was unsure whether Andrew the apple understood what she meant. But it was only a simple task. What could go wrong? Right. I shall decorate the place whilst Andrew gets the ingredients. Ollie and Peter, can I leave you guys to send out the invitations to all of the fruit in the bowl? Sure thing, Susie. And off Ollie the orange and Peter the pineapple went to send out the invitations to all the fruit in the bowl. Thomas the tomato waited patiently for his invite. He'd never been to a party before. But it soon became apparent that he wasn't invited. Poor old Thomas the Tomato. Ollie the Orange and Peter the Pineapple didn't think that Thomas was real fruit. This made poor old Thomas cry. He was a real fruit. Meanwhile, Andrew the Apple had returned from the supermarket. Oh, excellent! Andrew, did you get everything? Let's have a look, shall we? But when Susie looked inside the bag. It was not what she expected. Oh, Andrew! I said double whipped cream and some free range eggs, not a soda stream and some crab's legs. Oh, Andrew, what a silly sausage you are! I guess this will have to do. I hope Mr. Banana likes fizzy crab flavored creme brulee. Susie and Andrew started making their very odd creme brulee, but they were waiting on the Great Brothers for one last ingredient. Meanwhile, Susie asked Peter the Pineapple to visit Thomas the Tomato to pick up a blowtorch because she needed to caramelize the sugar for the creme brulee. Thomas the Tomato got very excited. He thought that his invite to the party had finally come. Hello, Thomas. I was just wondering if we could borrow your blowtorch. Sure, Peter. I'll just go and get it. Here you go, Peter. Thanks, Thomas. We'll get it back to you right after the party. Thomas realized that he wasn't going to get his invite to the party, but was just being used. Poor old Thomas. The grapes returned to Susie with the vanilla, and Peter returned with the blowtorch. The decorations were up, and the invitations were sent. All that was needed now was Mr. Banana himself. So Susie went to collect Mr. Banana. Happy birthday, Mr. Banana! Thank you, Susie. Mr. Banana, you should come with me. We've got a huge surprise for you. But when Susie and Mr. Banana got to the party, they were both in for a surprise. Oh my! I don't like this, Susie. Something must have gone terribly wrong. I knew I shouldn't have left Andrew the apple in charge of the blowtorch. What shall we do, Susie? Oh, Mr. Banana, this is terrible. We must see that plan, Susie. Mr. Banana, no! Wait! Mr. Banana, no! It turns out that not being invited was good for Thomas the Tomato. He loved banana fritters. Bear. <laughs> <laughs>